greetings. Long time no see and I know I promised I was going to post and I didn't. Um, to be honest I've had a mixed reading month. Um, I started off good, trailed off, work's busy, life's busy, I got sucked into a rewatch of Grey's Anatomy, you know the deal. Uh, so today I'm going to be talking about my August TBR and it's going to be a shorter one because I would like to leave myself some room to sort of figure out what I want to read. I'm not quite sure what I want to read apart from these books so I'm going to just see what happens. Um, so first off the books I'm getting from my library via audio so I don't have them uh, and that's Restaurant at the End of the Universe. Um, I have a physical copy but I'm going to be listening to the audiobook. Second book is narrated by Martin Freeman and I think he is going to be good. Uh, at least I'm hoping he's going to be good. Um, the next book is Foxglove Summer which is the fifth book in the Rivers of London series which is um, like a fantasy uh, London based cop mystery series <laughs> which sounds a bit weird but basically there's this secret department of the police force that deals with supernatural investigations of like murders and stuff that goes on um, due to dead people or evil sorcerers or mystical beings and it's all very exciting um, and I really like the atmosphere, it's got great atmosphere, uh, very London. <laughs> um, and then I've got Sea of Tranquility which I've heard a lot of good things about, I'm not sure if it's going to be for me, um, I'm just not sure what the writing style is going to be so I'm either going to you know like it or be very ambivalent about it. <coughs> Oops. <laughs> and so here we go getting into my stack. First up is the fourth book in the Wheel of Time series. This one is huge. It is just shy of 1,000 pages. I think some people's copies actually are longer than 1,000 pages because this is like standard UK paperback size. Um, So I think stuff like maybe the mass market is bigger I don't know but I'm very excited about this this is huge I am really excited to see because apparently this one's quite good um so I'm hoping that this is going to be the one that you know gets me really really excited for the first time and then next up continuing another series which you've heard me talk about non-stop for absolutely ages. This is the Berlin Inheritance. I read the other Berlin girl uh, last month so I am continuing on. That one was really good. That was following Mary Berlin um, which is the older sister of Anne Berlin. Is she the older sister or the younger sister? Doesn't matter. <laughs> um, so yeah this is continuing on. Um, it looks like this one might be following Anne of Cleves but sometimes it misleads you at the back because sometimes it's following someone but through the eyes of a different character so I will let you know once I've read it. Really enjoying this again it's not 100% historically accurate but leads me to googling and googling leads me down the rabbit hole of finding out the actual historical facts which is very exciting. Valor. Valor was on my list of things to read in July but I never got around to it because it's kind of big and I haven't been in the mood for like large fantasies and this is a proper like sit down and read it kind of deal. I've got my little bookmark in it though so this is going to be the next one up on my list. And then finally rounding off one of the nicest books um, 
and that is The Adventures of Amina Al Sarafi. Just look at this stunning book. Um, and it even looks good on the inside with the excellent end papers. Um, everyone loves a good map. Um, but this is in the Daveboard world, but at a different time following different characters. So it's kind of connected, but not connected. Um, so I'm really excited to read this because I really liked the David Bard uh, trilogy. Um, and it just looks nice. So I feel like it's going to have nice things in it. <laughs> and that's basically all I have on my list for the month of August. Like I said, I don't have many concrete plans. I'm just going to see what takes my fancy. I am slacking on my 23 to read in 2023 list because I mentioned I oversubscribed myself with series so I'd like to cross a few series off before I go starting a few new ones. Also since there's a lot of series to start um, with the ADHD I get like the decision paralysis where because I want to make the right decision I end up not making a decision because what if I pick the wrong one um so because I have too many choices of series to start and I feel like once I've started a series I have to see the series through um I haven't started any <laughs> so I just need to maybe do like in August read a chapter of each of the books I'm interested in and see which series I'm going to go for first um and see how that pans out. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let me know if you have any suggestions of what series I should read and if you think any of the books I'm going to potentially read are books that you have enjoyed. And I will see you soon with my notables and my wrap-up stats. <laughs> okay, see you soon. Bye.